Hey guys, how are you? It's really late right now and I started filming, you know, because sometimes when you feel like filming, you better stand up and go filming. Anyway, let's make something cute today. And what I wanted to make today is this poncho. And I'll put it somewhere here so you can see it. So I've been seeing it on Pinterest for quite a while now. I think for a couple of years. And I've always thought I need to make this one. I need to make this one. And I decided to make it. I, I'm sure there is a pattern somewhere going around. But I'm, I'm not going to use any patterns. And I deliberately didn't search for any patterns. I'm just going to kind of eye it and make my own. Um, if you know who the maker is who initially created it it's fine let me know uh, it's not like i'm copying their job but i'm definitely inspired by their um by by their creation so i will give the credit where the credit is due just let me know who created um that poncho we will be using chains single crochets and double crochets if you don't know how to do those um, i will link down in the description box the playlist with all the tutorials from the very beginning and then you can come back and you know try this project with all this being said grab your yarn crochet hook let's get to work the only measurement you will need for this project is the circumference of your head so when you put the poncho on it goes through you know like for a sweater so mine is 23 inches I would throw another inch 24 inches or 61 centimeters and we will need to chain this long and this is my chain I chained 70 for those who are wondering it was a little shorter than my 24 inches but when I tried it on my head so my head went through really easily and I don't want my collar to be you know too wide so 70 chains and when you join make sure your chain is not twisted for round number one we're gonna chain one and we will put single crochets in each stitch all the way around so if you are following me you should have 70 single crochets and now we need to find the points where we are going to increase so obviously we're going to increase here and since i have 70 i'm going to have to count 35 to find the other place 35 there's my 35 and I will put the stitch marker here. This first round might be a little difficult, but after that, it's gonna be perfectly easy. <laughs> All right, we will chain three. That will count as our first double crochet. And we will put two more double crochets into the same space. Okay, we got a group of three double crochets. We're gonna chain three and put another group of three double crochets into the same tiny space. And this is how we are going to be increasing three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. That's our increase. Now we're going to chain one and we will skip two and put a group of three double crochets into the next. Again, chain one, skip two, three double crochets. And you're going to repeat this particular step until you reach your stitch marker. And I'm at the point where I reached my stitch marker. I have two chains to skip. If it happens that you have one or three, that's fine. Just skip the number to reach your um, m the middle of the chain. And here we are going to increase into this stitch so three double crochets chain three and three double crochets okay we are gonna chain one skip two and put a group of three double crochets and this is how we are gonna crochet again till the very beginning 
alternating chain one skip two and three double crochets and I will meet you guys at the end of this round and I'm almost at the end and how I was mentioning a little earlier see I have three chains but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip them don't forget to chain one at the end skip the three or two however you have and slip stitch into the top of chain three from the beginning now we're gonna have to slip stitch our way into this space so it's gonna be one two and three and this is what we have so far we are going to be increasing the poncho to the left and to the right and here we're just going to be repeating the pattern we're going to chain three that will count as our first double crochet and we will put an increase here which means that we will have to have three double crochets chain three and three double crochets into this space And from now on it's going to be very easy. All you have to do is chain one and put a group of three double crochets into the space. You don't have to count anymore. You have just to, you know, follow the pattern the way it goes. Chain one all the way till your next increase space and this is the end of my round so I'm gonna slip stitch and because I want to change colors I'm gonna chain one and pull a tail I like to tie my tails so that's why it's not that long if you like to sew in your tails uh, leave it long enough to be able to sew it in I really like this green so I think I'm gonna start with it just make a slip knot again leave enough tail if you need to sew in the tails and we're gonna attach it into this space chain one two three that's your first double crochet add two more for some reason this yarn has a woolly feel it's like wool good and I'm gonna be even warmer <laughs> than with acrylic all right there is our increase and we will chain one and put a group of three double crochets into the next space and we will just continue with the pattern again until you reach your next increase space just put the increase and I will see you guys back when we finish the round right here and this is the end of this round this is how it looks like let's try it on you can actually wear the poncho again with the increases on your shoulders or you can wear it as on in the picture where the increases are in the front or in the back and from now on I don't really think I need to be showing you how to crochet the rounds are pretty much the same all you have to do just keep in mind the increases but you can't skip them because you obviously see them let me show you how to do the the cowl or the turtleneck so let's go ahead and do it. we will start with a slip knot if you watched my video from last Sunday where we made the hat and the brim, this one is going to be very easy for you. We will use front post and back post uh, double crochets. So find a space where you can join the yarn and chain three. That will count as our first double crochet. Now yarn over and put double crochets in each stitch or each space. We have our um, chain right here where we chained, so it's going to be easy to see. So all you have to do is just double crochet all the way around and I will meet you guys right here where we are going to join. 
Okay, and to join this one, you are not gonna join as usual with slip stitching into the third. You are gonna actually insert the hook into the space, pull up the yarn, and then slip stitch. So this one gets pushed kinda to the back. This is what we have for our collar or cowl. From now on, we are gonna be chaining only two and this will count as our double crochet, chain two only. Okay, this one is gonna be pushed forward, so we're gonna go around it and pull up a loop and finish the double crochet. This one is gonna be pushed to the back, so we're gonna yarn over and kinda go around it from the back, push it back, and pull the yarn from the back. Again, yarn over, this one pushed to the front. This one is gonna be pushed to the back. So we're entering from the back, pushing the double crochet. And pull up a loop. the next one to the front and the next one is going back this is what we have and this is the way how we are gonna keep going all the way around one is pushed to the front one is pushed to the back, to the front, and to the back. And as you can see, this space was used for this one. It's going to be used for the next one as well. And at first it might be a little difficult, but you will get a hand of it. There we go. Go all the way around, I'll meet you right here. And when you reach the end of the round, you are gonna slip stitch in exactly the same manner like you did here. So you are gonna insert the hook into the space, pull up a loop, and slip stitch. And this way, again, this one gets pushed to the back. So we're gonna chain two, and now it's gonna be much easier. Now you see which one comes uh, forward, which one comes uh, goes back. So you're gonna yarn over and go around the whole stitch. Um, you can see here these two small holes. It's not where you wanna go. You want to go into the larger holes, actually around the, the whole entire, um, uh, what is it? Double crochet. Okay, here is the same. Go into the larger spaces. And one more. And one more. And now you can see they start forming one long line in the front and same in the back. The back. And again, front. And this is what we have guys. I really like this texture. Let me finish this round and I'm gonna try it on to see how it actually looks on a person. All right, can I get a drum roll? These are only, you know, two rounds that I made of the collar or the cowl. Let's try it on. Yes, actually this way. 
Okay, let me move. My OCD can't, just can't. Okay, now it's better. And you can see that we are going up, so you can continue adding as many rounds as you want until you reach it here if you want it as a turtleneck if you want it as a cowl you can you know go up so it twists or rolls however you want to do it you got the idea guys and this is it guys this is the poncho honestly i still have to put the fringe in the back i just didn't have any time and if you saw my instagram post i finished at 2 35 a.m today and it's eight o'clock now so i'm gonna finish the fringe obviously but this is how it looks like for my curvy girls for the ones who want the poncho a little larger with a little more room for movement you can divide the total amount of chains instead of into two like here you can divide it into four and then you will have increases in the front, in the back, and on the shoulders. And this part is going to get larger. Um, as I said, so you can have more room for movement. Or if you want the poncho even larger, you can divide the total amount of the chains into eight. And then you're going to have increases here, front, back, shoulders, and two on each of the sides in the front and in the back and this way you're gonna get whatever size you want and i'm gonna wrap up the video right here thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new today if you really like today's project don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new tutorial and of course if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe i will see you next sunday bye